First things first, you put Kevin in the middle. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, thanks for coming out. This is a great day for the Golden State Warriors, a great day for the NBA, and really something truly significant that we are proud to share with all of you. I'm Bob Fitzgerald, the Warriors TV announcer. I want to welcome those of you watching on CSN Bay Area, those of you listening on KNBR. Uh, we want to welcome our owner, Joe Lake, who is here. Our president, Rick Welts, is here. And Kevin Durant's people, Wayne Pratt, his father, is here. Rayvon Lee, his brother, is here. Rich Kleiman, his agent. Charlie Bell, his business manager. And Thomas Avi, who handles all his security. We have the 2015 Executive of the Year, the GM of the Warriors, Bob Myers. The 2016 Coach of the Year, Steve Kerr. And the Rookie of the Year, an Olympic gold medalist, a four-time scoring champion, a seven-time All-Star, an MVP of the league, Kevin Durant. Who actually admitted he was a little nervous. I mean, as good as he is, would you be nervous ever? Uh, let's start with you, Bob. Pursuing an elite player and adding to a roster that has gone 73-9, and nine, won a championship. Tell us about wanting Kevin Durant, how he fits, and, and having him select the Warriors. Oh, um, well, I still can't believe I'm sitting next to him, to be honest. I, uh, our job, my job, Joe and I talk all year long, but basically we just try to, myself with the rest of the front office, we just try to get better. Uh, every time we, every day we wake up, and, and you never expect to get this much better. Um, but yeah, I mean, Kevin Durant, I mean, we love people that love to play basketball. We love people that are high character people, and you can't find a better embodiment of that than the guy sitting next to me. So we all can dream. Uh, <laughs> most of the time the dreams don't come true, but we, uh, I've admired Kevin and, uh, as a basketball fan. Just as somebody that loves basketball, watching him play. Um, so I honestly, Bob, to be totally honest, until he called me and told me he was coming, I didn't think he was coming. Uh, <laughs> but we, we did the best we could. I mean, we, we tried and we met, and, and uh, we're, we're hopeful that he would recognize us as a team that would be a team he could succeed with and enjoy going to work every day with and, and just um, love being a part of this organization. And so we're thrilled. I'm thrilled. Uh, what I'm most excited about is when you don't play for us, you don't get to see guys play as much. But I get to see our team play all the time. So I'm just excited to watch you play. I'm so honored that you're here. And um, I'm so honored you chose us uh, to play for. That, that is, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a wonderful feeling. So thank you. Steve, the style that you've encouraged in terms of unselfishness and good shots becoming great shots being the leading scoring team, being an elite defensive team. Basketball-wise, how does Kevin Durant fit in with the Warriors and that incredibly talented core that was already here? Well, I haven't made the decision yet, but he might start. <laughs> hey, hey, he already signed the contract, so whatever you want to do. Uh, I think it's safe to say Kevin would fit into it any style, um, but I think with our players, um, the guys that we have already, and Kevin could probably talk more about this, I think that was attractive to him to be able to play with Draymond and Steph and Clay because of the, the way those guys play. You know, we have guys who are not just shooters, not just ball handlers. We kind of have a bunch of basketball players, and that's what's made our team really good the last couple of years. So to add another guy who is so talented and not um, not just a shooter or not just a defender. He's, he's a basketball player. And we think the style fits him perfectly. Um, we think he suits us perfectly. And uh, the, the combination of all these guys playing together should be a lot of fun to watch. KD, you wrote that the last two weeks have been some of the most challenging of your life and that this decision reflected your basketball career but also your growth as, as a man. 
tell people about these two weeks and just anything that jumped out at you and, and how that whole process went? Uh, it's been uh, it's been hectic, you know. Uh, it's a lot of attention that comes with being in this position, and I knew that. And you know, when I met these guys, I felt as comfortable uh, as I ever felt. And uh, it was organic. It was it was authentic. It was real. And uh, there's feelings I couldn't ignore. So, you know, I made a decision to come in uh, and play for these guys, and I and I feel great and I feel excited about this opportunity. When you look at your relationships in international play, even with Steph Curry and Andre Iguodala, you're playing against a Draymond Green and Clay Thompson. They were they wanted you and welcomed you. How much of the personality fit was important as well as the basketball fit for you? I was shocked that uh, those four guys came in to meet me a couple of days ago. Um, team, you know, won 73 games and championship before. You know, I didn't think that they would be interested in a player like me because they had so much success. Uh, but to see them together, they all walked in and looked like they were holding hands. You know, it was a family. And uh, I, I can tell they enjoy being around each other. And I, that was, like I said, that was something I couldn't ignore. It was just a great vibe uh, throughout the whole day. So I'm glad I'm here, man. Like I said, I'm excited, and I'm just ready to play ball. Steve, you're having a little fun with Kevin. You know, his career high is 54 against the Warriors. And, and he had 30-plus in the first half in a game at Oracle before he, he twinched his, uh, his ankle a little bit. You said your defense got much better after Kevin wasn't on the floor. Having to stop him and now having to use him now, I would think that's a nice turn of events. Yeah, and then, you know, the other factor is, you know, everybody talks offense all the time. Uh, we had a pretty tough time in the playoffs uh, with, with Kevin's length and, and versatility defensively. And, of course, that's kind of been our calling card as a defense the last couple of years, the, the, um, the versatility, the ability to switch. And Kevin fits perfectly into that, that style. So uh, it really does feel like it should be seamless. And that probably won't be the case. There's always some bumps. But uh, it does feel like it's a perfect fit at both ends and uh, that we should, we should hit the ground running, and that's, that's the hope. Bob, as you put a roster together, you always talk talent evaluation, but, but the people, and you mentioned that Kevin has a person, his reputation in the league, and just how he's viewed among basketball. Did, did that click right away in pursuing him and seeing that he would fit in the Warrior organization as a person and with the Bay Area and with the team? I got lucky when, when, when uh, Kevin and his agent, Rich Kleiman, called me and said they were coming. I said, can I come out there right now? <laughs> and so I got to spend the last couple of days with him, and I got to know his father, um, brother, got to know Rich Kleiman really well, and I got to know Kevin a little bit. I didn't know him. Um, I knew who I thought he was, and the best thing I can say is he's actually better. And it's rare to meet someone um, of Kevin's stature and to have them exceed your expectations because I think the whole league and fans of basketball – know who you are and know what you're about but to get up close uh, m most of the time you're disappointed to be frank but I was like I said he he's better than I thought and um, like I said I mean we try when we put a team together to have people that are high quality care about each other unselfish and most importantly just love going to work every day and playing basketball and all Kevin wants to talk about is basketball, and that's fantastic because being around people that are passionate about what they do, it's enjoyable. Being around somebody that wants to talk about how he can fit into our team. The only problem we had was I told him Steve wasn't going to play him 39 minutes, and he didn't. He wants to play more, but they can figure that out. So it's been tremendous, and everybody in the NBA would be lucky to have a guy like this on their team. Kev, you, you talked about your growth as a basketball player. Third highest scoring average in NBA history. The other two guys have first name, Wilt, Michael, you. Eight rebounds a game. We actually led the Thunder a year ago in rebounding. And then Steve mentioned the defense in the playoffs where your length, your shot blocking at the rim was really incredible. What do you want for the next stage basketball-wise of you as a player? We know you can score like breathing, but what else do you really are looking for in this next stage? I really don't know. I just I just want to go out there and just whatever I need to work on, I'm sure it's going to reveal itself. Uh, but I want to just continue to just keep getting better, man. I, I want to learn from these guys. I want to 
you know, uh, coming in and lead as, as, as best as I can and just be myself. Uh, you know, I don't know um, what's going to get better throughout the year. It's going to happen. You know, that's how I approach the game. I play off instinct and, um, you know, real spontaneous when I'm out there. So, you know, whatever, whatever it is, man, I'm just trying to grow and get better and enjoy, enjoy playing the game. We're going to have people with microphones throughout the crowd. If you have a question, raise your hand, identify yourself and then your affiliation and fire away to any of the three gentlemen up here on the stage. Um, Steve, the, the way the Warriors play, you said Kevin's a perfect fit there. Do you see a, a way a team can deal with Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Draymond Green in that unselfishness, in that movement? I mean, offensively, this should be one of the most exciting offensive teams that the league has seen. Well, that's the idea. That's that's uh, that was the idea behind bringing him here. We we knew, uh, you know, what kind of team we already had. We knew we could get better, and you know, we lost in the finals. You know, we we want to get better. We, Bob said it. We want to get better every year, but we lost in the finals this year. We we want to we want to do better. So uh, you can't do much better than you can't do any better than adding adding KD to the current crew and uh, our staff is excited you know we're already talking about different ways we can put the pieces together and and um, it's going to be a lot of fun once we get rolling Busty Simmons with the San Francisco Chronicle Kevin um, our minds are all already going crazy with the possibilities with the Warriors but I know you were deeply rooted in Oklahoma City too how difficult a decision was this for you over the last seven years? I was it was difficult you know being in a place for so long and the relationships that I built, um, it was it was hard. You know, I went back and forth for two or three days, and uh, you know it was tough. You know, like I said, I've, I've been there for so long, but uh, this new journey I'm excited for. I'm looking forward to uh, those nine years. You can't erase. You know, that love doesn't fade. Uh, those memories don't erase. So that's always going to be a part of who I am. Um, but this next you know, step in my life, I want to conquer it and, and you know get better every single day.